Um, it's a pleasure to be here with you in a certain sense. Um, okay, so today uh, I would like to, to speak about some um, uh, recent advances on the question of constant scalar curvature color metrics with con singularities. And uh, we start this talk by some um, um, uh, geometric uh, motivation. So let's consider uh, let's consider a, a holomorphic vector bundle uh, E over a curve. Of a smooth complex curve. And uh, I am interested in, in um, the associated geometric rule to manifold P of E. And I would like to state a, a, a theorem, and I'm kind of I'm very pleased that actually among the audience are a lot of people who have contributed to this theorem. So theorem one uh, is the following: where well, you have uh, equivalences between the fact that P of E uh, admits a color metric. with constant scalar curvature. So that denote omega this metric, constant scalar curvature. So scalar of omega is constant. That the equation, usually uh, we say we are speaking of a CSCK, in short, it's called CSCK metric constant scalar curvature color metric. Um, and in any, uh, in any ample class or even one would be sufficient, ample class C1 of L over P of E, if and only if, so that's an equivalent between phi that E, the vector bundle is Mumford Takemoto stable, which is a notion of complex algebraic geometry. It means that E can be decomposed uh, holomorphically as a, a direct sum of vector bundle EI, such sub, each of them is slope stable, um, which means that uh, for any proper coherence of sheaf of EI, the slope of, of this proper coherence of sheaf is less than the slope of E, where the slope is actually the degree uh, divided by the rank. E. And it's not, statement is not um, complete. There is also an equivalence with the fact that uh, P of E and the uh, polarization on it, this uh, ample uh, line, uh, line bundle on, uh, on, on P of E is K polystable, it's K polystable in the sense of uh, uh, polystability in, uh, invented by Tian and refined by Donaldson for any uh, uh, polarization. So, um, <clears throat> so I mean, uh, no, so it's, it's, this theorem is a combination of various results uh, due uh, to uh, Akira uh, Fujiki Claude Lebrun, uh, there is an also an important article of uh, Vetislav Apostolov, uh, David Kaldabank, and uh, uh, Paul Goduchon, and together with Christina uh, Thompson Friedman. And uh, there's also, I mean, for the part which is more algebraic, there is also the work of Julius Ross and Richard Thomas, and also refinement due to Jacopo Stoppa. So it's a lot of work to obtain this result, which is very nice because uh, first of all, it gives you example of what I would call um, Calabi dream manifold. I mean, it's called in the literature Calabi dream manifold. 
So a manifold where in any given color class, you have a constant scalar curvature metric. And second point also, uh, it gives an evidence of uh, Yao tendonas on conjecture. So this Yao tendonas on conjecture that states in full generality that the existence uh, of uh, a CSCK metric is equivalent to a certain form of stability or, or of, the, of the class of the polarization where um, that you consider on the manifold. Okay, so um, of course, there's a very naive question that one can ask now from this statement is what is happening if now I consider E an irreducible um, vector bundle, which is unstable in the sense of Mumford Takemoto. Well, uh, in that case, you, of course, uh, you don't have a CSCK metric, but you don't have neither um, an, even an extremal color metric on it. So it's a kind of opposite situation. You are what I would call a Calabi nightmare uh, manifold. And so there are two questions that arise, I think. Question one is, uh, can we introduce um, a singular metrics with uh, uh, scalar curvature properties in these settings? And the set second question of, of a P of E, and the second question is, can we relate it with a stability notion? And so that's, uh, that's the purpose of, of, of this talk, but it, it's going to be a little bit further than this, just considering geometry world manifold, as you will see in the end. So, um, so of course, uh, I, I, I would like to speak about uh, call metric on CSCK metric. So I need some proper definition. I need some proper definition of what is a CSCK constant scalar curvature color metric with um, with con singularities. So what does it mean? Well, uh, this makes sense in in just a compact color setting, and more even generally, but. So I consider a compact Kellan manifold of complex dimension N. And uh, first definition is what is a color column metric. A color column metric uh, with cone angle two pi beta uh, along a I will consider in this talk only a smooth divisor, even if uh, the results are hold in the marginal setting of simple normal crossing divisor along a smooth uh, irreducible divisor D is, is what? It's a closed positive one one current. positive one one current um, such that uh, first of all, it is smooth of course on the quasi projective manifold associated to the divisor. And second point, it is quasi isometric uh, to the cone flat, to the local cone flat model metric, the cone flat metric. And I will express it what it means. So it means that if I take a local cone chart D, uh, sorry, if I take a local cone chart where D is written as Z1 is equal to zero, the vanishing of the first coordinate, then uh, omega cone uh, is, it can be written explicitly as beta squared Z1 two beta minus one. Uh, dz1, dz1 bar plus i sum of the standard metric. 
Okay, and and the the, uh, the, the that, that's this metric is incomplete. It has such a metric is incomplete and it has finite volume. The the word I mean the origin of the word is coming from the a picture you have in of a C where if you if you take C with uh, just a classical metric B squared Z squared uh, to the power two B this one DZ DZ bar it's a smooth space with a singular metric but it's quasi isometric to uh, a singular space which is a con disk with uh, with a clip at the origin and the wedge is of angle two pi beta. Okay, so um, uh, furthermore, we need, and that's kind of important in this theory, we need irregularity spaces. We need irregularity spaces. So um, some holder space are going to play a crucial uh, uh, game here. So let's take a, a let's consider uh, a, a coordinate chart U. So U is a coordinate chart that intersect that intersect. Sorry, I write badly. Coordinate chart that intersect D, the divisor. Um, and I, if I have a, a, a map from you, U, are you always going to take beta less than or equal to one, or don't you care? Uh, I will consider only beta less or equal to one. Yes. By the way, in listing the the, the, the history of uh, these, the story about uh, constant scalar curvature, Taylor metrics on on uh, projected uh, on TP one bundles. You might have also mentioned uh, Burns and Bartholomew's because their result was really the, the one that inspired a lot of other work. Ah, okay. So all right. Scalar curvature is zero. Scalar flat. Thank, thank you for pointing me out that. Uh, so, um, so uh, uh, yeah. So if, if I, I would say that U is in the C alpha beta space, C alpha beta space is. If the, the map given by the quasi isometric mapping V Z1, Z1 to the power beta minus one, Z2, Zn, which is equal to U of Z1, Zn. And as before, D is a vanishing of the first coordinate, uh, is, uh, has a property to be in C alpha folder space. Satisfies. D in the C alpha holder space in the classical sense. Okay, and now uh, we can introduce a C2 alpha beta space. Uh, the C2 alpha beta space is um, the space of function uh, on the quasi projective manifold so that uh, U, DU, and D D bar U are in C alpha beta. Uh, the C2 alpha beta space and uh, C alpha space were studied by Donaldson in, in order to obtain some regularity results for the Laplacian associated to con matrix a while ago. Uh, that's of course, all the talk I am, I'm giving is related to the classical problem of Karl Einstein con matrix for which there's a lot of things which have been done, but I don't have time to enter all the details here. So, um, end, yes, I have a question. So, so do you do you need to control the whole fashion and only the one one? No, 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 that, 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 that's precisely the point that what my next remark is that we only need to control uh, the derivatives I have just given to you in the C2 alpha beta space. And uh, what does it mean precisely? So, uh, in order to be concrete, if I take i and g bigger than two and I do dd bar of u apply to dzi dzg bar this means that it is in c alpha beta space but if i do dd bar of u apply to dz dz1 dz1 bar this is going to be you need to multiply by z1 to the power 2 minus 2 beta here to be in the c alpha beta space so that's more concrete what i mean uh, here okay so, so uh, 
this is this is uh, uh, this is locally. So you need to to use a partition of unity to extend this space to the whole manifold and and a priori uh, these spaces depend on the holomorphy on the choice of the holomorphic coordinate charts and partition of unity but these norms turn out to be equivalent okay so that's very nice and as as you pointed out the the the, the, the we only require certain types of derivatives here and not the whole Asian uh, so that's a different uh, notion of situ alpha beta space that you, what you would do more naturally okay so now we are ready to introduce uh, to introduce what is a CCK cone metric. And there is a first uh, surprise here. So omega is a constant scalar curvature column metric uh, with cone singularities uh, in the class so big omega. Uh, beta is less than one to be positive uh, if well first of all omega is a color cone metric that is very natural and the second point is much less in a certain sense well, omega is solution of a certain system of pde I will write this system and then I will explain the word in the system. So log of omega n over omega theta n is equal to f and Laplacian omega f is equal to the trace with respect to omega of theta minus a constant. So what does it mean here? So I have to introduce what is theta and, and uh, omega theta. So theta is a smooth one one form uh, in the class C one of M minus one minus beta C one of, of D, what I call C one of D, which is actually C one of L D, the line bundle associated to D. And the, 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 the metric omega theta is satisfying um, it is a solution to, to Yao's uh, version of uh, the Calabi conjecture, uh, in, but in the cone version. So omega theta satisfies this equation. If you fix the Ricci curvature, so you ask the Ricci curvature of omega theta to be theta plus the current of integration along D. This kind of equation was actually, that's kind of a bit surprising to me, but was originally uh, considered by Yao's very late in his paper, breakthrough paper in 1978. This is the very last uh, uh, section of his paper. Uh, but uh, what is, uh, has been discovered much later by Genancia and Pohn is that uh, they, they ob ob observed that, that uh, the potential of, uh, of uh, omega theta is in C to alpha beta space. And so what is happening is that uh, you get F, which is C zero alpha beta. And from that, uh, you obtain using Schauder estimates from three that phi is in C to alpha beta. So the potential, so what I want to say is that if Omega is such a CSCK metric, then its potential is in C2 alpha beta space. Okay, so this is coming from uh, the second equation here. And the fact that uh, you can use shoulder estimates where, when alpha is small enough. So this fits more with um, the, 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 the study of Kala Einstein cone metric where you have also C to alpha beta uh, potential. Um, another point I want to mention is that if you plug the expression of F in the second equation, you get that the scalar curvature of omega is constant, constant on the quasi-projective manifold, okay? 
Um, but in general, you don't have that phi uh, is in C4 alpha beta space. You just have that phi is in C2 alpha beta space. You can improve the regularity in the very special case where um, beta is very small angle. So if beta is less than one half, then, and if you choose correctly your, your, your alpha, then it's true that uh, phi is actually in a certain C4 alpha beta space. Uh, okay, so that, that's due uh, to uh, Long Li and uh, Kai Zheng, uh, who have been studying very much uh, this kind of problem. But the, 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 the core of my discussion here is that uh, with this notion of CCK corn metric, uh, you get some regularity result. And on the other hand, if you were starting by saying a constant scalar curvature core metric is just a metric which is a color core metric and satisfies the scalar curvature equation constant, then you cannot do much. I mean, you don't succeed in doing anything actually. You, because you, you, don't, you cannot derive any estimates basically. So uh, when beta is less than one, we have we have a first corollary. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, saying, we were saying that the constant is here topological. Constant you have, like in the classical sense. So this constant here is topological. Can be computed using only the function classes of M, of the, uh, the class of omega and the uh, function class of uh, LD, the, uh, the line bundle associated to D. Uh, the second, uh, thing that obtain uh, Kalame, Zhang, and Zhang is that, so I should stress this, so this is due to Kalame, Zhang, and refined later by Kai Zhang, my collaborator, uh, is that uh, there is uniqueness, there is uniqueness, uniqueness of uh, constant scalar curvature of metric, Up to the uh, up to the identity component of the automorphism that fits the divisor. That's a holomorphic automorphism fixing the divisor. Okay, that's uh, so a non-trivial result because uh, the geodesics in the space of color's potential are not smooth. But I cannot discuss much this result, which is difficult, and. Now I would like to sp speak about the linearization of the equation. So linearization of the CCK equation in the previous sense. Um, so when you linearize uh, the, the CCK equation at the point which is a CCK metric, you make appear a Lichnerovich operator. And this Lichnerovich operator looks like uh, Following is uh, Laplacian squared of u plus uh, u i g bar r r i g bar, which is in, uh, coming from the Ricci tensor, and in that case, in just in uh, it lives in a just in a C alpha beta space, and the theorem we obtain with uh, uh, so theorem two is that uh, if you fix if you fix f in the C alpha beta space and you normalize it, um, and you have omega, which is a CSCK cone metric in the previous sense, then uh, you have a freedom alternative. You have a freedom alternative. So either uh, either the kernel of this Lichnerovich operator is uh, non-trivial, and in that case, it corresponds to holomorphic vector fields which are tangent to the divisor. Uh, or uh, using the, the gradient operator, or um, uh, you have a solution unique to the Lichnerovich uh, uh, equation admits a unique 
solution. And that solution F, oh, sorry, U, sorry, lives uh, in a good space that we, uh, which is a kind of weak, a weak C4 alpha beta space. So it's, it's in the following space. It's a space of function which are uh, in C2 alpha beta. And um, so I should say it's, I should say it that way, sorry, excuse me. So it's in C2 alpha beta, as I described before. Uh, it's in C4 on the quasi-projective manifold. And um, furthermore, uh, its Laplacian with respect to omega is in C2 alpha beta space. So as you see, that's here that appears a false derivative. Okay. So uh, you have to mod out by constants also, right? Uh, no, because I I, use, I have this uh, I have this uh, uh, you have normalization. Uh, I have a normalization. Oh, your normalization yeah. is that it, it, the integral is zero. Good. Good. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I see what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so um, uh, so the idea of the proof here is uh, so the idea of the proof is a continuity method. But as time is flying, I will not enter the detail. So you you add here parameter t, and uh, you get a solution u t. For t is equal to zero, you can apply uh, the the lax milgram uh, theorem and Schauder estimates to have a solution at t is equal to zero, and then you have openness, which is kind of granted for easily, and then you need some. Uh, sub left type inequality to obtain, uh, you know, Garning, Kato, and Prinka inequality to obtain uh, the, the closeness, this kind of technical result of uh, purely, uh, I would say, geometric uh, analysis or analysis even. Okay, so uh, now let's turn to, uh, let's turn to uh, geometric applications. So geometric applications. By the way, isn't, isn't there a missing factor of two in front of the Ricci curvature term? Laplacian squared plus, I mean, easily, you know. Full contract would be tw twice the Ricci curvature. I mean, you might need four here. In, in the expression of the Ricci or Ricci operator? Yeah, where you just put the green T. Isn't there, isn't there supposed to be a factor of two in front of that? In the uh, listener of its uh, 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 operator. Uh, well, it depends on your conventions, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it will not change whatever factors you put as here. Will as, not as long as what you're doing is not sensitive to that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so the geometric applications here I would like to describe is the following that's uh, first of all an extension of a uh, old result of Kong uh, 20 years ago about. Uh, what is happening on uh, geometric gold manifold or adiabatic limits. So that's the CM3. And uh, so consider B uh, uh, a base manifold uh, with a CSK cone metric, as we described earlier, compact. CCK cone metric along D and assume there is no, there is no uh, non-trivial holomorphic vector field tangent to D. And uh, let's consider E over B a uh, stable uh, parabolic, I will explain what it means, holomorphic vector bundle with respect to omega b, then uh, if I look at the pullback of uh, the, the, the uh, so I have a map from p of e to b, uh, so pi, pi is a map from p of e to the base, and if I pull back by this map, uh, the, the color class 
uh, omega b. And if I look at uh, the first chain class of the hyperplane line bundle, uh, well, uh, uh, when k tends to infinity, I geometrically I mean that I am making the 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 the, the, the base larger and larger. Then this class admits a CCK cone metric. Okay, uh, so uh, this means that in particular. Uh, we have plenty of CCK cone metric because you can just take a Kalanstein uh, uh, manifold with a Kalanstein cone metric on a Fano, let's say, and for certain devices they don't have a holomorphic vector field, and you can take the tangent bundle on it, and then it will turn out to be parabolic uh, stable, and then you can uh, produce this way lots of uh, lots of uh, CCK cone metric which are not Kalanstein. Yeah, uh, what is the divisor on, on CE? So here is a is a pre-image of the uh, from the base by pi, but let me mention what is here the parabolic structure. So what is a parabolic structure means parabolic so it means that I take e and over the divisor the restriction of e to the divisor emits a filtration. So this is going to be FL plus one, a filtration FI. And so to be parabolic stable means that uh, uh, instead of the, the previous, uh, um, uh, the previous uh, definition of the classical notion of uh, stability uh, with a space to the degree divided by the rank, you need to consider the parabolic degree instead of E. And what is a parabolic degree instead? Well, uh, uh, associate a weight alpha one alpha l uh, uh, to uh, your filtration and the parabolic degree means that you add uh, the following the degree plus the rank of the ratio of the filtration time alpha p so this notion of uh, parabolic degree was introduced long time ago by uh, meta sechadri and why? Because they were studying parabolic bundle, uh, bundle of parabolic degree zero of a uh, quasi projective uh, uh, curve. And uh, they, 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 they saw that it arises from a reducible unitary representation of the fundamental group. So these objects, para parabolic stable vector bundle, have been much studied by, uh, as I said, Meta Sechadri first, and then Bikar, Simpson, Moshizuki. Narasimhan, in order to get information on the fundamental group of uh, quasi-projective manifolds. So that's objects which are interesting in themselves. And what is happening in our case is that, well, we start with a parabolic stable vector bundle, and we can produce, so we produce on the parabolic stable vector bundle. Uh, okay, so I, I should say that you are parabolic stable when so parabolic stable means that uh, uh, for any uh, proper coherence of shift of E, uh, the parabolic degree of E F divided by its rank is less than the same for E. So it's exactly the same, uh, the, the same definition as in the classical sense where you don't have parabolic structure, except that you need to replace the, parabolic, the, the degree by the parabolic degree. And though we can produce on E Hamishan Einstein metric, which are in a certain, uh, in a certain nice uh, space, so we could produce uh, a solution to the following. So we have omega b, our CCK metric, on, uh, uh, code metric on the base, and we produce a metric. So that its curvature is constant. Actually, this constant is a parabolic slope. Uh, and furthermore, uh, the metric uh, that lives here is, so that's what is really new, because this was known by Simpson. What is really new is that uh, we have some regularity result on the metric, the Hamishan-Einstein metric. Using this metric, 
you can produce another metric on uh, this leaves in, in the, the first string class of the hyperplane line bundle. And now the proof of the, this theorem, the last theorem I stated here, theorem three, is that uh, getting a, a metric, this metric omega e in this class, plus the constant scalar curvature called metric on the base, where you just need to deform it a little bit using the previous theorem, theorem two, to obtain a, a, a CSK call metric on P of E. So then plus apply. So we apply, we apply, uh, we apply theorem two to, uh, so I would just say K P star omega B plus omega E hat uh, uh, to obtain a CSK call metric. On P of E. Okay, so uh, I mean those are some subtleties. Don't so you need some condition on the bundle to use for, uh, but, but the but the condition is is Paisa's lead that the bundle is stable is parabolic stable. So you start with a stable parabolic stable. You produce a Hamish and Einstein metric. You know, my concern is just that C one of O one may not be a Taylor class. No, no, no. You, 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 but when you add K sufficiently large. K P star omega B plus C one O one P in the statement below you, you said something. Yeah, I, 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 oh sorry sorry I should I should sorry sorry I, I, I forgot to say for K sufficiently large sorry right yeah. and otherwise also it's, 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 it will not work of course so it's for K sufficiently large uh, you you have a CSK call metric in this class right now I understand but below also when you made the statement about getting so I, so. It's partly terminological because you're kind of uh, using the same word metric, whether it's a bundle metric or whether it's a Taylor metric on the, on the space. So below you make a statement about the, oh, this omega hat E. Yes. Which is uh, so. Oh, and it, the the point is that that's that's not the metric. It's it's K times the pullback plus that. Now yes, exactly, exactly. You need to add uh, both to get something which is scalar and then which deform is, it, which is actually positive. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So, so, um, so, uh, uh, yeah. So, one point is to get, for instance, this C four alpha beta space. So, this is why is to use a nascent heat flow, heat flow outside the tubular neighborhood of D, and to control. So, you have like <clears throat> some difficulties here because a priori uh, you need you need um, you know a national iteration because shadow estimates for public system are not known. So, there are difficulty even to obtain this regularity result. But that's uh, that's one idea. So now, now if we come back to our ori original setting, let me recall you. So we had a vector bundle E over a curve which is unstable. What you can do with it? Well, uh, let's say let's say even if it's a, a, a rank two rank bundle given by an extension, you can produce you can produce a parabolic structure. Which makes it parabolic stable, which makes E, I should say, sorry, parabolic stable. So that's possible. Or even you need just three points to do that in the case of a rank two vector bond all. Uh, and uh, uh, of course, this solve in a certain sense our our first question. Okay. Uh, you can produce lots of 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 of, of CSK metric on on P of E where E is unstable, but what is the relationship with stability? And that now uh, drives me to uh, quote uh, a very recent result that appeared on archive last week. So there's a CRM called Julian, you... uh, Julian. I have a question. So this parabolic structure that we introduced is it the orbital type or it could be? Uh, you, could, you could you could make it uh, uh, with rational weights uh, and uh, I mean it, 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 even even in the case of rank of rank two that's completely related to uh, I mean you could make uh, some relation with uh, Roland Singer uh, in the case they studied uh, a parabolic structure with rational weights and in, in there is a relationship with that yes but in, in general you can you can take with, with non-rational weights. So you have plenty of parabolic structure that would work. This is what I mean. 
Now, uh, there is a result appeared recently you are why uh, Ashimoto collaborator and Zhang, which is the following. Uh, assume we have M, D, L. So M is uh, uh, a pretty, pretty uh, smooth manifold uh, ample uh, with an ample line bundle. So L is ample. D is a divisor as before. Um, then uh, assume that it admits if C1 of L admits uh, CSCK core metric, then, uh, then uh, of angle beta, I should say, of angle beta, then it is, then it is a log K polystable of angle two pi beta. So what does it mean here? Uh, log k poly stability. So log k poly stability is, of course, a generalization of the classical notion of k stability. So for classical notion of k stability, you need uh, what is uh, called a, 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 a test configuration, which is a kind of deformation of your uh, initial manifold. You need a proper flat morphism. Uh, so maybe I should say even a quick way. So you need you need a test configuration first. So you need a, a, a proper a flat morphism uh, away with a sister action on N covering the one on C. And uh, you need an equivalent land bundle. So I should call it an M. So that's so equivalent on pole line bundle. So that if you look at one fiber of MT LM restricted to T, this is isomorphic to ML. So the picture is something like this. You have uh, copies of your manifold here. And at the point zero, you have something weird that appears here happening a priori. And uh, okay, uh, uh, what is a log test configuration? Well, you need to add in this framework a sub scheme. So you need to add a sub scheme uh, obtained by complementing the sister orbit of the divisor. So obtained by complementing the sister orbit. Of D. Okay, so uh, when you do that, you 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 obtain uh, weights coming from the action of the C star on the uh, space of holomorphic section of of uh, of uh, uh, M zero, the the central fiber, and of course the same is happening over the divisor. So you can you can uh, cook up uh, what is called a log donaldson futaki invariant. So I should write it this way. So there's Associated to such a test configuration, you have a log de Nasson Futaki invariant. So this is associated to a, a M, D, L, M, and beta. And how does it uh, look like? Look like well, it's a classical de uh, Nasson Futaki invariant for M, uh, for M and L M plus an extra term, and this extra term is one minus beta, uh, the, 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 what I call the J weight is something that we studied uh, with uh, Dervan uh, uh, while ago, J weight associated to, uh, uh, to D, or even more closely to the linear system uh, associated to LD, I should even say. So there is, there is an extra weight here. So, um, uh, and you say that you are low k polystable, uh, low k polystable. So you are low k polystable. So what it means? Look, sorry. Oh, you are low k polystable if uh, for all this log test configuration. Um, you have that uh, the log. The Nelson Futaki invariant is 
uh, non-negative and vanishes only for product log test configuration. So this kind of theory, I mean, has been uh, very well developed in the case of uh, the Kala Einstein case from Fano manifolds, and uh, there is a huge history on this. And the, the proof of, uh, of the proof of uh, Awai, uh, Ashimoto, and Zhang is uh, by adapting uh, some earlier results of uh, Buxom, Isamoto, Johnson, or non Archimedean limits, and Berman, Davas, Lu. So uh, the first Buxom, Isamoto, Johnson allow them to get um, semi stability, and Berman, Davas, Lu allow them to get really log K poly stability. But a, a crucial, a crucial uh, ingredient in this proof is that um, the existence of CSK core metric implies the properness of a certain, uh, a certain functional. In a certain sense, uh, uh, the way this functional uh, behaves is under control of the, by, uh, of the log donation Futake invariant. So there is here, I mean, I cannot give so much detail, but uh, an ingredient is uh, the pendant of the K energy, but in this setting, which is I call low K energy, which depend on beta. And uh, its critical points are, um, are CSCK con metric. And what is, has been shown by Zhang is that uh, using actually a uniqueness result I mentioned to you about CSCK con metric is that existence of uh, CSCK corn implies that the low K energy is proper. So this properness has to be understood with regard to a certain distant function studied by Davas uh, on the space of a color potential. And uh, when you mean uh, proper, you mean that when this distance on the space of color potential is greater than infinity, well, uh, the, 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 the load K energy is also going at infinity. Um, uh, there is also a trick here is that the completion of the space of color cone metric is actually the same as a, the completion of the space of smooth color metric. That's important and that allows you to use exactly the same technology in the smooth case, uh, to, uh, in, the, in the case of, uh, uh, in, uh, of color cone metrics. Julian, do you assume yes. the automorphism group is, is, is trivial here? No, here uh, uh, there is no assumption, uh, but it's not the, I mean, they have, a refi they have a refinement. If you are interested in uniform uh, stability, low case stability, they have a refinement when there is automorphism group, but I didn't want to enter this detail. But, yeah, but the properness is, is modulo the automorphism. Uh, yeah, okay. Sorry. Okay, okay, that's that's true also, but I don't want to enter so much detail. But let me let me finish. Uh, uh, so so uh, okay, uh, I will come back to this issue a bit later, maybe. Uh, but there is a nice corollary that you can provide from the result, uh, which is the following. So now assume that uh, we have uh, I, I, we have a vector bundle of a curve as before. then uh, we get a similar statement as the first theorem I mentioned at the beginning of this talk. P of E emits uh, a CSCK con metric uh, in C1 of L. Uh, if and only if there exists a parabolic structure uh, on E. That makes it uh, parabolic stable if and only if uh, P of E uh, and L is log K polystable. And that's, uh, that's uh, of course, uh, that's. Uh, provides one evidence of the uh, logarithmic version 
of uh, the Yao Tianzhen Nelson conjecture. So if you compare with all the results I provided to you, um, uh, the only step which is really missing because we have that uh, we have uh, that P of E uh, admits a CSK implies a log K polystability, and we have that the public structure implies that you have a CSK called metric on P of E. So the only step missing is this one. So this is done by computing uh, explicitly. You, you choose a specific test configuration and uh, you compute the donaldson Futaki weight and you make appear the parabolic degree of E uh, and the parabolic degree of a, a, a current uh, subshift of E. And that's how you can conclude uh, for the proof of this result. Uh, and, though, and so the question that arises from this corollary is, um, um, is the following. Uh, as I said before, if you have a vector bundle over a curve, you can produce a parabolic structure that makes it uh, parabolic stable. So you have uh, plenty of CSCK called metric. And so the question is, is it uh, something which uh, is true in general or not? And there's theorem of, so again, Ba'awai. Hashimoto and saying, prove the following with ni very nice result. So beta is less than one, there exists M zero, uh, depends on beta M and L, such that for a generic divisor D in ML, uh, M bigger than M zero. There exist, there exist a CSCK cone metric uh, along D in C1 of L. So in other words, uh, you have in each kind of class of a, of a, a projective manifold, um, uh, you have a CSCK core metric. Mm. Let me mention also that um, uh, some of the um, uh, some of the uh, some of the statement I, I I mean most of the statement I gave you before are true for a projective manifold for complex projective manifold, but I expect they will be true for a, a compact color manifold. And actually, my uh, student. Uh, Cheng Yin is working actively on this. So uh, what is, I mean, I will, I will, I'm going to finish here, but uh, I would like to do some comments on, on, on the proof of this uh, very nice result of uh, by my Hawaii, uh, Shimoto and Zhang, is that um, uh, the proof is coming uh, from the following fact is that, um, so idea, the proof. So, uh, Zeng has shown before in a very long paper and difficult paper that um, if you have properness, properness of, uh, of the Mabuchi, log Mabuchi um, K energy, then this implies, I assume there is a no uh, holomorphic uh, vector field here. And actually is, is the case, uh, if you take M large enough, it kills uh, the, the, the holomorphic vector fix, fix, fixing the divisor. Uh, then it implies existence of a CSCK con metric. This is the cone version of uh, Chen and Cheng. So Chen and Cheng got exactly the same result, but for smooth scalar metric. Uh, so that's one step. Uh, second step is uh, to relate uh, 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 to, um, uh, to to write the, 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 this k log k energy as a sum of entropy, an entropy term plus another functional, which I will call uh, g tilde. So we call it this way. It's not very precise what I'm doing, but it just to give you a hint here. So entropy is a very nice functional, which is proper. And the question is, when is G till proper? And uh, in the smooth case, when you, you, you deal with smooth scalar metrics, this has been much studied by Song and Wenkov. And 
so in the smooth case, we have some, we have some uh, uh, sufficient conditions, uh, sufficient conditions. For uh, G to be to be proper, and for instance, uh, 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 for instance, you, you need. Um, uh, I mean, there are some inequalities in terms of some. I would say topological, topological, and you need, for instance, that the first chain class of the manifold is, is negative. Okay, what is, what what do you obtain in the in the in the cone setting. So in the cone setting, well, uh, you also can develop a certain similar strategy, but you get freedom because in that in that case, you just obtain the condition one minus beta c one of p negative. So uh, in the smooth case, you are completely fixed. Uh, you you don't have flexibility, and the second case. When you change your divisor, you gain you gain flexibility. So you can ensure that uh, G tilde is. Uh, uh, I mean, it's more complicated than this, but I will not write it. It's, you have extra condition, okay? But they are nonlinear in the divisor, I would say. So when you add the divisor and you do a multiple, uh, you, you go in this linear system for m large. What you gain is some flexibility, and this implies. That the GT functional is proper. Actually, it's always the same business. It's proper because there's a critical point, uh, functional, and this critical point is a solution actually to the twisted J flow. That's related to J flow. But. So you get that the J, J tilt fun functional is proper. The entropy is a nice functional, is also always proper. So the low K energy is proper. So you apply, uh, you apply uh, Zhang result. And you get a CSK core metric. So the, 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 the end of the story is that uh, you have plenty of CSK core metric in a given scalar class. And that, so this theorem uh, um, uh, doesn't really imply uh, the previous theorem I gave you on, uh, um, on, on P of E, on rule, geometric rule manifold, because you don't get exactly the same devices. So it's different types of CSK cone metric. But uh, it shows that you will have plenty of such metrics. And uh, I think it's, that's an important result. OK, so just I want to finish it here. And I want to thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Other questions? I have a question. Uh, just wondering how how much uh, the techniques you use uh, can be instead of considering uh, cone metrics along a divisor that you consider uh, a affine variety with cone singularity, isolated cone singularity at the origin. Whether the techniques, some of the techniques, will carry over or not. Um, but you are you are losing compactness, right? In in that yes, case, yes, yes, yes. Well, so um, <laughs> uh, well, compactness is absolutely essential, you know, uh, in our setting. So I really I don't know. Maybe you can uh, uh, replace this in a certain sense. Um, uh, that's I don't really know how to do it. I mean, I would uh, do, do, do you have some I, I would start by looking at the case of the Laplacian in your uh, in what you said in the setting you mentioned. I would start by this uh, to to see if you have uh, similar similar results. Uh, uh, the construction of C2 alpha phi beta space, uh, uh, the shoulder estimates, especially because that's crucial in our in our setting. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you need to do a computation in uh, to check it. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, this is, of course, crucial for the Sasaki version of uh, the uh, Yao Tian Danielson conjecture, right? 
<laughs> but I, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised that, uh, for instance, um, the, the the results of uh, Awai, uh, uh, Ashimoto, and Zeng hold. Sorry, I am. Uh, sorry, this theorem should hold for general compact scalar manifold. Okay. Uh, we we have we have a technology here that is has been implemented in the smooth setting. We have. CSCK uh, metric of uh, uh, compact color manifold implies a certain notion, which is called uh, color, uh, color uh, K stability. So uh, we, we, we have already uh, something that should work in the, in the logarithmic setting. So Thank why you. not extend it later to yeah. Sasaki geometry and so on? That makes yeah. completely sense. Thank you. Yeah. That makes completely sense. Some questions from here from the room mountain. So what if you're what if the Kaler class is is not uh, rational? So you're always working in the context here where you have a class given by the first term class of a line bundle, and yet uh, if you're in a favorable circumstance, for example, if uh, if there aren't any polymorphic two forms, you should be able to get some. Nice result for, for more general polarizations. Certainly, you know, uniqueness follows in that, uh, in that case. So, so, so in the, in okay, so uh, in the, so you you are saying what because I didn't hear very well. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, okay. So, so uh, the question so, is what. Man. So have you have you thought about uh, trying to get a, a result? In, I mean, here you're generally in a, a case where there are no homomorphic two forms on the manifold. So. Because if you have a, at least if you have something like a, a projectivization of a of a uh, of a vector bundle, there aren't any going to be any holomorphic two forms. So it, it, at least you know the basis is something like that. Sure. So um, then, uh, rather than just looking at uh, at Taylor classes that are uh, integer classes or rational classes, you could also try to to uh, see what what happens in, in uh, if you can get any kind of, uh, of openness statement about existence, uh, then you should be able to do things for more general Taylor class. So I mean, I mean, I'm mean, not sure. Um, can, uh, is, this is a this would be a circumstance where the uh, the rational classes are are dense in H one one. Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. um, 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 I'm sure not, I'm not sure I can comment. I mean, there are, there, there are some results that I, I, I gave to you which are true for just compact Keller manifold, right? So, Lisnerovich operator, uh, uh, the, the fandom alternative is true for compact Keller manifold. The, the construction of uh, of um, uh, of um, uh, yes uh, of uh, yeah. CK metric here on of a P of E is true for general color manifold. You I mean you, you you may you you don't need that omega b here lies in a function class of a certain line bundle, right? Here here you you have freedom here of omega b for the color class here. What really what is what I really where I really need at the moment. Uh, projective setting and integral color classes is uh, for the notion of k-poly stability, because the notion of low k uh, of color low k poly stability is not well defined as far as I know. Right. So you certainly, you know, there, you have no problems with defining things like slope stability. Or slope, uh, the, the kind of uh, Ross-Thomas slope stability. Uh, 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 slope stability of, of bundles can be defined uh, with respect to any color class. And actually, actually, when you compute the parabolic degree here, it looks like uh, you know you are computing certain numbers uh, using uh, I mean that's numbers using algebraic geometry, but you can also see it as an integral of uh, curvature terms wedge uh, omega b uh, the, the, the 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 metric on the base. So you can do it uh, using purely analytic method. 
So you can define parabolic degree in an analytic way. So it will work for any color class. Okay, so that's some flexibility. What I don't know is how to extend, for instance, I have no clue how to extend the last theorem for just compact color manifold. Here, here, the only only thing I want to mention is that you can play with beta. So for all beta, for all angle beta, you can find a M zero and a CCK cone metric of angle two pi beta in uh, in uh, using the divisor, the general divisor in the linear system. I want to mention this because maybe I, I was not clear on this. So, <clears throat> Jen, there was a question from the audience, which I will repeat. It. Don't have it multi. Oh, this is Yuan Qi here. Uh, so, uh, is it possible to perturb the angle of a CSCK cone metric if there is no holomorphic vector field tangent to the divisor? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so you you would like you would like uh, an openness result? Yes. So um. Yeah. So the the, the, the exactly. So the result. Of the last is the result I, I you have uh, here on the screen here is for any beta. So you can change during the angle beta, you get a CCK cone metric. I see. I see. So it implies what is especially I think you have in mind. So it, it's it's uh, you can imagine uh, you can imagine a continuity method from this uh, from this theorem. You can imagine to start with a certain beta uh, less than one and, and, and go to beta equals equal to one because you want to produce a CSCK metric. Mm -hmm. I, expect, in, I expect that if you have a CSCK metric, then you can produce a sequence of CSCK cone metric with angle beta. And when beta tends to one, the CSCK cone metric will converge in C2 alpha beta space towards the CSCK metric. I see. I have a question actually to the opposite end. What will happen when you go to zero? So you have a um, one correct type metric. And actually, I think you probably will see that this uniform stability. Uh, I'm sorry, Vetislav. I, I, I hear just uh, not even. Yeah, so one, my question one, is what, what yeah. happens when beta goes to zero in this? Last theorem. Do, do you do you converge to a Poincaré type uh, metric or a cusp type metric? That is, that is I mean, that is. I mean, I, I cannot uh, comment because I already don't know. I, I don't know about what is happening when the beta tends to zero. Can you uh, can you say something uh, smart? I, I don't know. I mean, that's uh, of course that's something I want to investigate uh, actually. Uh, uh, with uh, Hugo Vray, but uh, at the moment I don't have any result to say. That, that's something completely um, natural. <laughs>